Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm sorry that I'm not in my cheerful mood. And honestly, I really don't feel like dropping this video because I'm still suffering from the loss of my son. But I feel like that's how I honor my son, Mr. Jaquan Raheem David. Anyway, start this video as I do most of my other ones with a prayer. Father God, I thank you for waking us up this morning. I thank you for life, health, and strength. I thank you for providing the heal, the protection around us as we go through this loss, Father God. Father God, I thank you for being there for comfort. I thank you for be, bringing peace. I thank you for bringing love. I thank you for bringing joy in this time of sorrow, Father God. I thank you for holding each and every one of us up as we suffer through the loss of our loved ones, Father God. I ask you to continue to protect us, Father God. Continue to heal us, Father God. Heal our minds, body, and soul, Father God. Strengthen us, Lord. But we are weak, Lord. I ask you to bless all the people that's been praying for me and my family, Father God. Cover and keep them in the right state of mind, Father God. I ask you to please allow the life of my son to be a lesson for somebody else, Father God. Father God, I ask you to shield us. Heal us, Lord. And let us continue to do, do right by one another, love one another, lift each other up, respect each other, and honor each other, Father God. I thank you for what you're doing for my family, for my friends, and even for my enemies, Father God. I thank you to continue to help us to keep pushing and doing the things we need to do to live a better life, to live a more healthier life, to live a more fulfilled life, to live a life of joy. Father God, I thank you. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I don't even know where to begin, y'all, but I'm kind of numb. I'm in shock, disbelief. I sit around thinking, as we had it sitting up and people come and go, where's my baby at? Sometimes I find myself in my head and I'm like, Where's Quan at? You know, Quan should be here. Because I know Laquan likes to turn up and have a good time. And then I have to come back to reality that Quan ain't here anymore. And it hurts me so bad. Because like, like I say, I love each and every one of my children. But Quan was my go-to guy. Quan was my, my loving, lovable guy. He was my help me solve my problems guy. He was, I would do anything for my mom or my dad guy. And people. Corn just loved people. He really loved people. And I honor him today and every day. He, it ain't a person in this world that Corn wouldn't try to help. It wouldn't matter if it was somebody that loved Corn, or it wouldn't matter if, if somebody that disliked Corn. Corn was a people person. He was loving, caring, and kind. He was helpful. He was just gentle. And I appreciate that them for that. He would always say, Mom, forgive this person, forgive that person. I'll be fussing him out. But now I understand what he was trying to tell me. I really do. I don't know how I'm gonna make it without him. But I'm gonna try my best. I don't know how I'm gonna make it without him. Because when I tell you I miss this son of mine, I miss him so so bad. But I put this video on this morning to encourage somebody, anybody that had any kind of loss in their life. Because this is the painfulest thing that we have to go through as being human beings is loss. When I started doing these videos, I had no idea that I was doing a lot of it for me. That I was going to go through this great loss of losing my child. Y'all, it's different when you lose a child. Then when you lose other people, it's different for me. It's a whole different feeling. I lost my grandmother. It was painful. I lost my daddy. I almost lost my own life. I didn't even want to live. I didn't want to go on no more so many times that I probably would have took some pills. I really, really hurt myself because the pain was so unbearable. But because I had three children, I would never want to put them in the position that I was in. They have to even think about burying me and not having me in their lives. Well, anyway, 
her three children was really my saving graces, my angels that I know God sent to me years ago because he knew that I was going to go through some heartache, some heavy things, and he knew that I was going to need those children. I get on this thing, and I get on here with a heavy heart. I get over here, go down here hurting, filled with so many emotions I can't explain. But I also get on here to encourage any mother or father that's lost their children. It's a whole different feeling. I get on here to encourage anybody that has lost, period. Because everybody handle death in different ways. Y'all, it hurts us. It hurts us very bad. But I can say this. They will want us to live our best life. I know that. I know that's what my son wants. But I miss him so bad. I have to go through this grieving process. process and I'm, I'm a little angry right now that he's not even here. I'm hurt. I'm heartbroken. I'm filled with so many emotions. And I break down on and off for little bits at a time. But I can't let it all out. And... It leave me a little afraid sometimes, afraid sometimes, but I have to let that energy go because at the end of the day, I know that God has me shielded and the angels camped around me and my children and my family. And I know a big part of the big, biggest angel he have around me right now is my son, Jaquan. So baby, people may think I'm a little crazy, but even though you communicate with me a little bit, you haven't been communicating with me a lot, but I know you're there. I know you're pushing me. I know you want me to keep going because you have said it to me. I know you want me to stay in the fight. In, in the honor of your name, Jaquan Raheem David, I'm going to keep pushing my way through this healing. I'm going to be inspiring, encouraging, keep lifting other people up. I encourage you to keep going. I encourage you even when you have lost, even when you lost somebody that you really, really love. You feel like a part of you are gone that you'll never get back. You got to stay in the fight. You got to keep praying. You got to keep standing strong. And you got to work at getting to where they're at. I know my son ain't suffering no more. I know he ain't no longer in pain. I know he ain't got to be talked about. I know he ain't got to be mistreated. I know he ain't got to be around here suffering no more. And that's what I thank God for. My only thing is I miss him. I love him. I adore him. He my sweet, 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 sweet baby. When I say sweet, I mean sweet as far as helping people, doing for people, loving on people, anybody. If Quan can, he will help them. He will bring over backwards to help anybody. He would comfort them. He would cook. He loved him some food. He didn't care what nobody said. He would cook for them. He would do anything he could to help another human being. The love... That's been shown to us during the time that we lost corn lets me know how loving corn really was and how people really love corn and they love us too. I never in a million years thought that I would be burying one of my children. I always expected my three children to have to bury me. This is the worst pain that I ever have experienced in my life. If I can push through this, God knows I can push through anything. So what I'm telling you, if I can push through this, then I know that somebody else that suffered loss, it ain't just got to be children. Because some people suffer great loss over their parents, their grandbabies, their aunts, their uncles, their nieces, their nephews. People handle grief different. It comes to do it through them at different stages. But I want y'all to know, don't give up. Stay in the fight. Stay encouraged. Keep pushing. I all know I get out here and I walk. I walk. I get out here and I get out here in nature. I get up here in nature, and I toss to God, and I toss to corn, and I try to release this heaviness, this burden, this empty feeling that I feel like I'll never get back. I might not show it, but I love my son. I love him. I can't even believe it. I'm in disbelief, honestly. I ain't even had it in my mind that he's gone. The only thing I can know is I got to keep pushing. I got to keep going, and I got to honor his name. Y'all, I ask you to please like, sh share, and subscribe to this channel. Please let the word get out about the different little things I, I, tell you, I, I talk about because we got to change as a people, y'all. 
Y'all, we really got to change as a people. Mental health is real. People are hurting on the inside and afraid to share it with anybody on the outside. It don't get no worse than this. This death thing will take a toll on you. I might be dropping this video, but I'm so heavy. I feel like I got thousands of people on my back. I feel like my head is splitting in two. And I feel hurt because I can't let it out the way that I want to. It just comes and goes. It comes and goes. But I know that's the peace that God's giving me. The peace that my son is pushing on to me. They're doing great things. They're helping me. I've been praying about this generation of curses. curses. They're helping generations of curses be broken on my families. All my families. They're helping these curses be broken. And everything. Another thing that I want to talk about, y'all, please. The Lord told me. Um, over a year ago, told me, he warned me, and I tell y'all no lie, to get life insurance, because I don't even have none. But when I tell you, when I click, get this cleared out of the way, which I shouldn't even wait, may go in the house and look for me some today, not tomorrow, but today. The Lord had been telling me to get life insurance, get life insurance, get life insurance, and I got to be real with y'all. Well, tell me, I kept telling it, telling J. Quan's dad, we need to get life insurance on Quan. We need to get life insurance on Quan, because I knew my other two probably had theirs. And I figured he probably might not have his. I, don't, I wasn't sure. But anyway, I knew that his life was living a fast life. And I knew that I was older and I needed some. Not just putting it on just him, but it's just like you got to listen to God. God gives us all knowledge and understanding in life. He gives us warnings and we just look over them. I looked over this. I looked over. I pushed it back. I pushed it back. Because you don't want nobody to think that you wishing death on them or you claiming death. You know what I'm saying? But I should have listened to God. I used to, should have listened to the, the voice that was coming to me telling me to get life insurance. Not just on him, but on myself. Because y'all, it's rough when you have a loss of anybody. And you have to you have to get people to help you bury your loved ones. But let me tell you this. I may say that, but I'm going to turn around and say this. My family, my friends, even people that's not been close to me. They came through. They showed up, they showed out. They done brought so much tissue, paper towels, napkins, hand wash, um, food, cakes, chicken, chicken nuggets, chicken tenders. My aunt even came up here. My aunt came up here and made me some um, homemade macaroni and cheese, cabbage, some cornbread, the best cornbread I ever put in my mouth, Father God. I thank you. Y'all have been wonderful to me. I cannot complain. I have people running around for me when I could not do nothing for myself. Running around helping me, making sure that my son get put away the right way. And when I didn't do a bunch of nothing, I even had a hard time trying to do the obituary. My sis, my sis Moomoo had to step in and help me with that. Sis, if you watch this video, I want you to know I love you. I love each and every one of my family members, everybody that come through. I especially love my children. They've been going through real hard. But I know God got them. He made them Ford truck strong. And I thank you from the top to the bottom, from side to side of my heart. I really thank you. I thank you for everything you've done, every message you sent. I see it. I have to get on here, and I got to thank you. I not only thank you, but my son thanks you from the bottom of his heart. I appreciate it. I really, really am so sorry of anybody that lost anybody. It ain't just got to be a child because a loss is a loss. Death is death, and death is one of the worst life experiences we have to go through as we live this life. But y'all know what I learned, and my son is showing me from his death. I should live, I should push, I should live my best life because that's how he lived his. He lived unapologetic about how he lived his life. He didn't have a thing he done. He might not always did things right, but when I tell you that he was the kindest young man, the joyous young man, the happiest young man that I ever seen. If he couldn't help you, he won't hurt you. But on the inside, he was going through things that I don't even know about. I do know that because my God tells me. Jaquan, baby, I come to you today. Your mother, God gave you to me and your daddy. And I want you to know that I love you. No matter what mistakes you have made in your life, I adore you. I appreciate you for being the son that you was to me and your daddy, for being the sibling you was to your brother and sister. And I ask you to continue to be great in heaven, continue 
to always be by our side, to communicate with us, to lift us up when we're torn down. I ask you to continue to be the man that you are. Pure, solid, happy, joyous, go lucky, but giving, caring, and kind. I see you. I thank you. I'm sorry that you had to lose your life to really show your mama what I need to do to get it together. But, Jaquan, I see your life meant the world of people. Your life meant so much to me. I'm so thankful to call you my son. I miss you so bad. I love and I adore you. I want to talk to you every day because I'm so used to us being on that phone. I keep waiting for you to come in that door. I haven't even had a chance to see you. I know most people wouldn't want to, but I want to see my child. I love my child. And I know he loved me. He sure loved his daddy. And his daddy loved him. His siblings are so hurt. And I just hope they be able to make it without him. Because that was my three musketeers. But anyway, y'all... Get you some life insurance if you don't have none. Have your children to get them some life insurance, y'all. Stay with life insurance. You never know when you're really, really needed. We all need it. We all was born to lead this world. We don't know the day. We don't know the time. But we got to stay ready for anything. Because you don't want to have a loss and then be in a position where you can't bury your child. But thank God I have people that came through for me. And they came through wholeheartedly with nothing but love and compassion for my child, me and my family. And they forever changed my life also. Because I wanted my family to be close again. And I know we right there. I know we love each other. No matter what the outside people think, we love each other. And I ask the other people's families, y'all, please, please pray for your families. Pray for these generation of curses to be broken so your families can get back together and do the things they need to do. We're stronger together than we are apart. And we need each other in times like this. I blame me for staying secluded and staying to myself. But I am thankful and I'm grateful that people love me enough, that love my children enough, that they get proud of help a hand to send out a prayer to give me their condolences. Y'all, that's so appreciated to me. I can't even explain that enough, how much that touched my heart. Y'all, I'm part of what keeps me going too on a daily basis. I still sit out here and I continue to walk, walk my way to this healing because there's so much in nature, y'all. That's what I'm doing. So y'all can see the beauty of nature. I don't want to be showing people's houses, but you can just see the beauty of nature. It's so beautiful out here. When we're going through things, we got to get, got to get outside and give all that negativity to God because without God, with none of this, we could not make it. I ain't going to lie. I would not be standing without his strength, his grace, his mercy, his forgiveness, his, the power that he gives me. I know that still, I walk in power. He gives me power through this. I'm making it through this. I know that I'll be stronger as ever. I ain't kidding. I'll be stronger as ever, y'all. But anybody, I ain't just had losses. There's other people that just lost their children. They have lost their children. My heart go out to y'all and the people that lost their moms. Anybody that y'all lost, my heart go out to people that suffer from loss. And I hope you was able to keep your mind right because this stuff really plays on your mind. You know, a lot of people have to go back to a job after losing their child, and they really need a break. I'm going to tell you, this don't go away. This, this death thing stay with you forever. You be hurting forever. You be hurting forever. The pain do not leave. It do not go away. You just, you just learn to live with it. But I know for a fact it ain't going to be a day that don't go by that I don't think about my Jake one. I, don't, I know it won't be a day that go by that I don't think about him. Well, anyway, son, I love you. I honor you. I dropped this video on your name, and I ask you to continue to fly high, rest in peace, and turn up corn. You're my turn up kid. Go ahead and turn up. Turn up front corn. Turn up the right way. Well, anyway, y'all, I love y'all. I encourage y'all. I wish y'all well. Y'all continue walking, looking at this beautiful, beautiful world that God created. Continue to do better by one another. 
And like I said, check on your mental health. If you're going through something with your mental health, y'all, please don't be ashamed to go get you some help. Sometimes it get just that bad. Go get you some help even if you need some medication. Because we're going through not just deaths. We're going through pandemics. We have so much death. That's all that's going on is death right now. And then it's a lot of time. A lot of things are going around in drugs. Even in weed, that fentan fentanyl, whatever you call it. And it's killing a lot of people, y'all. Not just um, old, but young. It ain't discriminating, y'all. So be careful. Talk to your kids. Talk to your loved ones. Talk to anybody that you know that has a problem with addiction. And encourage them to get them some help, y'all. Don't never stop. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep thriving. Keep encouraging them to do better. Keep encouraging them not to just go out and be buying these drugs from anybody. Because everybody that say they love you, they don't really love you. Anyway, y'all, I done held y'all long enough. I love each and every one of y'all. Like I said, I really appreciate you. Stay in the fight. Continue to move your bodies. Do what you have to do to get your way to your healing. You only have one body. Take as good care of it as possible. Anyway, I love y'all. Take care. Continue to walk. I'm about to finish with this walk because I let it get too hot for me. But anyway, I had to get out here and keep it moving and do something that I decided to Drop a YouTube video. Anyway, y'all, go to my page, please. Like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Pass these videos to other people that can help them. Maybe this, this can help somebody that done lost their child, lost a loved one, period. Y'all, because it's rough. It's rough, but we got to fight for this healing. We got to stand in the fold in the memory of our lost loved ones. Anyway, like I said, I love y'all. Take care, and have a blessed day. And still be thankful no matter what. God, I thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Anyway, love y'all. Bye-bye.